सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड टूडे इज वीडियो आई एम गोन टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट दैट काइंड ऑफ थ्री सिक्सटी रोटेशन लूपिंग एनिमेशन यूजिंग दी ब्लेंडर सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट टूटोरियल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल जस्ट ओपन अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट फाइल सो ऑल दैट गेज यू कैन सी वी हैव ओपन अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट फाइल एंड राइट नो ऑन माई स्क्रीन यू कैन सी वी हैव ओन गेमिंग चेयर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू जस्ट सिलेक्ट दोज पार्ट विच इज नीड टू बी रोटेटेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव टू ओनली रोटेट द टॉप पार्ट ऑफ दिस चेयर बिकॉज दिस लेग पार्ट विल बी स्टिल uh stay basically it will not rotate it that rotation won't be affected on this bottom part so first of all we need to uh, add one empty basically and we have to select the whole part which is we need to rotate it so what i'm going to do first of all i'm just going to add one empty pressing the shift a so i will just add one empty here basically uh, for example i'm just going to add one plain axis i think that's look nice yeah that's great and one more thing i just want to do basically Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just select the whole part of this chair. Basically, I will just press the Shift S, and I will just do selection to cursor and keep offset. So it will automatically add the whole part of this chair in center of the grid, and then I will just press the right click, and I will just uh, do right click and do horizontal geometry. So that's to create by the way. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, my front view, and here I'm just going to. Select the those part which is should be animated. For example, these part should be animated, and this part will be not animated basically. I think only those part will be animated. And after that, I'm just going to select this empty which is I have already added. I will select this empty, and then I'm just going to press the Control P. So I will just link the whole object with this empty. I will just select the second option is object and keep transform. So now here you can see if I'm just going to move my empty, so here you can see whole top part will be go. with them and which is look nice by the way now if i'm just going to press the r and z and here you can see we have a perfect rotation chair here and which is look nice by the way now what i'm going to do i'm just going to my front view and i'm just going to drag this timeline bar little bit upside and i will just create one rotation animation okay and for example i'm just going to press the i and i will just add one rotation key here and uh, now i'm just going to my uh, 20th frame for example and i'm just going to rotate this whole empty into 360 degree something like that and again i will just press the i and here you can see we have another keyframe here and now if i'm just going to play the animation so here you can see we have a, a rotation chair animation and which is look nice by the way so first of all i just want to increase the space between the two frames because right now that speed is too much fast now here you can see we have a rotation and which is look nice by the way all right so now here you can see guys we have uh, that one animation here now i'm just going to make this whole animation in a loop animation so for creating a loop animation we need to just split this window little bit yeah something like that and i'm just going to change this whole uh, editor panel as a, as a graph editor something like that and now i'm just going to press the n and i will just uh, Uh, go to my modify section and here i will just add one modify it's called basically cycle now here you can see if i'm just going to play this animation so it will going to play in a loop continuously here you can see so that's how you can create a looping animation using the blender and that trick will be work with every keyframe any keyframe whatever keyframe you have added into your timeline bar it will automatically make loop basically and i'm just going to show you the keyframe basically how it look like so here you can see this is the keyframe and i'm just going to show you here basically so now here you can see this is the whole keyframe which is going to loop basically and if you want to play this animation in continuously so right now here you can see if i'm just going to play the animation it's going to start very slow and in the mid of this animation going to little fast and again at the end of the animation going to slow so you can see the little zerk here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to press the t and i will just click this linear so now here you can see it will continuously play this animation without adding any zerk basically so now here you can see 
that's how you can create a rotation chair animation and that's how you can create a looping animation using the blender so i hope guys you enjoyed this video and you learned something new today and thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys